A student from Park Rapids High School is getting some praise for her massive mural. Reporter Sherelle Moore has that story behind what inspired this young artist for this week's In Focus. The picture that I have behind it is like the Hogwarts scene, which is the first year that Harry, Hermione, and Ron, and Draco, and, and all of them really get there. And so it took countless hours and tons of paint, but Victoria Campbell, also known as Tori, has completed a spellbinding new art piece for her school. Um, taken me all of last try from last year and the first try of this year. The Harry Potter mural is 10 feet tall and 22 feet long. Her inspiration came from her love of the books. I enjoy painting and I like reading and Harry Potter just kind of stood out to me and I knew I wanted it to be something that has to do with literature because this is the English hallway. Park Rapids High School has 11 different art classes. Tori is a part of the advanced studies class. Art teacher Mr. Hartung sits down with each student to discuss what type of projects they want to work on. I always encourage him to say, okay, we're going to look at this, you're going to be working on it for three months, what, you know, let's, let's carefully plan this. So there's a, there's a, uh, a series of days and, and can go weeks of planning. Dozens of murals line the walls here at Park Rapids High School, just like Tori's, reminding kids to dream big and imagine the possibilities. It's interesting to see her, you know, it's a story. She's telling a story and there's multiple things here. You have to step back and take a look at it and, and you, you know, you'll have to know a little bit about Harry Potter, but part of it is that it's, it's, a, it's, it's massive and it's really intricate and it has a lot of meaning behind it. I don't know if very many people can tell, but I actually did make these ones, Harry, Ron, and Hermione, <laughs> and a few other ones, I guess, like Luna and Lavender, Cho Chang, Tori says her favorite part about the mural is definitely the moon. Looking back, she's proud of her work and has this advice for other students. Even though I didn't have much time or the space to do so, I still made a very big mural. And I don't know, if people don't think they can do something, if you put your mind to it, you can do it. Reporting in Park Rapids with this week's In Focus, Sherelle Moore, Lakeland News. Tori and other Park Rapids art students will be participating in a visual art show that's happening in Faustin coming in March. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.